Hey everybody, it's Kathy at North Star Prep Center. Well, welcome back to my kitchen. It's been a while, I know. I have been blessed to be part of a collaboration this February 2022 that was hosted by Anna at Fermented Homestead. Today I'm going to make some fermented berries from freeze-dried fruits. I know you can make them from fresh or frozen too, but I thought I'd put a little twist on it. This collaboration is just amazing. It is just so wonderful. Fermenting is an age-old process and I'm glad that it's something that's been coming back. So even though I have a blizzard going on outside, I can still ferment and create these wonderful foods. The collaboration has a wonderful ending to it. All of the channels who are part of this collaboration are listed below in the show notes. So one thing that you're going to have to do is go to each one of their channels, find the video that was part of this collaboration, comment on it, make sure you subscribe to that channel and like that video. And then on February 28th, Anna is going to go live and she is going to have a drawing from all of the channels and all of the comments that were left. And the two things that she's gonna give away in this drawing are Mason Top fermentation kits. One is for a regular mouth kit and the other one is for wide mouth. So anyway, it's an exciting time. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with these berries. Okay, I have a two cup measure that I'm gonna measure my berries in. And I have four different ones. I have strawberries, raspberries, blackberries and blueberries. So I'm going to put half a cup of freeze-dried berries from each of the fruits in here. Now when you rehydrate them, the volume is about the same. So you don't have to like figure, well, I'm going to do two-thirds of a cup to equal one. So and here's some oops, raspberries. blackberries. See, I like all different kinds of berries <laughs> and it's going to be so tasty. So, there we go. So I've washed my hands. My cup is very clean. My, um, all my utensils are as clean as they can be. All right. And blueberries. And that's right at the two cup mark. So you can see the layer of berries there. It's going to be so wonderful. Okay, so now that I want to rehydrate them and stir in some other ingredients, I'm going to transfer this to a bowl to make that much easier. Now to rehydrate them, I want to take some filtered water and pour it over here. Another reason I want the bowl is so that I can stir things around easily and get these rehydrated. And we need to let this sit for about 15 minutes, uh, stirring once in a while to make sure that everything gets rehydrated. So we'll be back in about 15 minutes. I am using Thrive Life freeze-dried fruits. Really, you can use any brand that you want to. And these are pantry cans. Let you see what they look like inside. Now they're just the plain fruit. There's nothing added to them. Okay, it's time to add our other ingredients. Okay, we're gonna add two tablespoons of honey. You can use the liquid honey too but this is what I have right now. And yes, honey will allow it to ferment. You can use uh, raw sugar. You can use you know, organic raw sugar. You can use organic cane sugar. Uh, you can use regular sugar, whatever you want in here. Obviously, liquid sugar will help it to um, incorporate a little bit easier. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of kombucha that's already been through its second ferment. 
And I'm using kind of a berry one here to add to the berries that I have. If you're fermenting um, pineapple, you can use a pineapple flavored one or you can add ginger to this. Whatever your taste buds would like. And the last thing is a fourth of a teaspoon of very fine salt. I'm using this pink Himalayan salt that's very fine. You can use a fine sea salt or a fine real salt. This is what I had for fine. Okay. And I will let you know the blueberries were the ones that were the last to soften. So just so that you know, you can see how it's all coming together a little more liquidy. These berries are beautiful. Uh, a little mushy because I've um, let them sit a little long. Okay, but now what I'm going to do is strain a lot of this liquid off so that we can get all of this in one jar. We don't want to have too much liquid here. have wonderful berry mash to be able to ferment. It's going to be great. They're all softened very nicely. You can see even how fizzy this liquid is with a little bit of kombucha in it. All right, now we're going to fill the jar with all of our fruit. Pour in our liquid up to about an inch and a half from the top. I'm going to kind of work it around to make sure there's no air that's trapped down there. I think I can pour a little bit more liquid in. Where your rim starts is an inch, and then about a half inch beyond that. Part of fermenting is making sure that the fruit or vegetable stays below the liquid line so that you don't get mold and different things at the top here. So what you really need to do is put a weight on top of it. And this is a glass weight made for a wide mouth jar. And I'm gonna push this down. Now some of the liquid will come up, but that's okay as long as the fruit stays down. Just kind of mash it a little bit more. I like these weights with the knobs because it makes it easy to pull up. So now I'm going to put this pickle pipe on here. Sometimes you can, you can just cover it with a regular lid, but this knob sticks up a little bit. And so the silicone pickle pipe, it's kind of a nipple type of thing. It, it allows the fermented gas to escape. So I'm just going to put that on, put a ring over it, and tighten it there. And look at the beautiful, beautiful fruit that's in there. Okay, I'm going to set this aside on my counter for one to two days, and we'll be back in a couple days. Okay, the jar has been sitting on my counter for two days. Release the top here. If it were summer, probably one day would be enough. Because it's the middle of winter and my house is cooler, I did go two days. And I'm gonna pull out the weight. There are many different things you can use for the weight. You could use like a small jar. So there's some liquid on top, which is fine. That's what we wanted. Look at all this wonderful fruit that is already fizzing and, and everything else. Now you can use this for a number of things. You can use it to top ice cream. You can put a couple scoops in a smoothie. Uh, because it's fermented, you don't want to use the whole jar at one time, but you can keep it in your refrigerator for up to one to two months. And then just take out 
you know, a scoopful, throw it in your blender with your smoothie and you're adding some probiotics that are wonderful for you. And what I'm gonna do is actually have this on some yogurt. Put a little bit of yogurt in here. Now, if I wanted to, I could just put like um, an immersion blender in here and blend it all up nice and smooth, but I kind of like the, um, the chunkiness of the fruit. This looks wonderful. So this is just plain Greek yogurt that I have. And adding this wonderful fermented berries to it. What a great dish. Now I'm gonna cover this again, put that back in there to keep the liquid down. And I'm gonna cover it with just this lid, the screw on and I can keep this in the refrigerator now. And then just dip into it as I need it. Oh, this looks so wonderful. It's a nice little afternoon treat. Let's see how this tastes. A very fruity, wonderful taste. I think I would probably even mix more berries in here. It's so good. I hope you try this and enjoy. joining me today on this wonderful adventure of fermenting and I hope you try it too sometime. I am just so glad that there's another way that we can enjoy fermented foods if we don't have access to fresh food. I know that a number of you are storing up freeze-dried foods or you have your own freeze dryer. So um, try this, experiment with it. You might want to adjust the sweetness on it if you want more honey or if you want to try like raw sugar or something. But whatever you do, have fun in this world of fermenting. So you guys take care, God bless, always have hope, and hope to see you soon. Take care.